Hey guys, it's Phil from the No Guts No Galaxy podcast. In this video, I will be talking about a build based on the Hunchback chassis, specifically the HBK-4 Papa. I call it Bug Zapper. The graphic used in this video will also be available in the description below. Into the mech lab we go. Now, this mech and its fitting suits my playstyle, and I really hope that maybe you try it out, and maybe it opens the doors to a few things, but I've been really successful with this particular build, and well, here you have it. So let's go ahead and do the rundown. First off, the name of it, the Bug Zapper. Why? It's because it's all lasers. All right, we've got the Hunchback chassis. We've also got the 4P variant. And let's go ahead and break down. It is a medium battle mech, of course, for all of you uh, junkies out there. It goes 79.3 kph with an XL245. It is 50 tons. Now, the firepower here, 33. That doesn't seem like a lot, but in the right hands, this can be a very effective design. And I think if you give it a try, you'll understand. The heat efficiency is at 1.35, so it handles itself as far as heat efficiency. And with the double heat sinks, of course, that's why it's up there. Armor. We're using standard armor. No need for ferrofibers and weight saving on this. I do have 336 out of 338, so it is very well armored. The only thing is the, I think, two points in the legs, and I'll show those shortly. Structure, we're going with standard. No endo steel on this. Uh, we needed all of the crit spaces available for the double heat sinks and weaponry. Armament, we have two large lasers and three medium lasers. Now, I know a few people like to use pulse. You could substitute it, but like I said, this build specifically works really, really well with this setup. Onto equipment, we've got an XL245, which puts you again at 79.3 kph. With this speed bonus, you will be hitting 86 kilometers an hour. So just keep that in mind. No jump jets on this particular chassis and or variant. We are using double heat sinks, which you can access through the upgrades. We also have a Beagle Active Probe. It gives you a sensor increase and you can detect shutdown mechs within a certain range. On to the hard points, we have nine energy hard points, no ballistic, no missile, and of course one AMS. For modules, I have the advanced sensor range. Okay, weapons and equipment locations. Let's go ahead and start in the arms. Now, because of this particular build, I like flexibility. Uh, that's why I put the large lasers in the arms, so I have a lot of maneuverability with my arms so I can move around, engage targets, use that uh, weapons convergence. So I've got a large laser, two double heat sinks in the right arm. In the left arm, I basically have the exact same thing. Large laser, two double heat sinks. In the left torso, I have three double heat sinks. In the right torso, I have two medium lasers and two double heat sinks. Center torso, I have the Beagle active probe. And in the head, I have the third medium laser. Now, there's nothing in the legs, of course. I don't have any ammo. The armor points, like I said, was at 336 out of 338. Pretty much you have maxed out armor across the board, except for 47 on both legs. All right, guys, that's it for the mech lab. I'm going to show you some footage of this thing in action, and hopefully you find it as fun and successful as I have. All right, here we go. We are on River City, and this is the Bug Zapper. Let's put it to action. I definitely like this map. River City is one of my favorites, just because just the environment. I mean, just how populated it is. It's really exciting to see if they'll be able to do a lot more with it. You know, destruction and stuff like that. I'm looking forward to it. And again, I'm rocking the two large lasers. I love large lasers. Uh, 450 meters is about their effective. Really? Already? You just saw that? Someone just shot me. Well, touche, my friend, touche. I'm gonna go ahead and push up on the right side. And, uh, yeah. Whoa, I just, uh, yep, I definitely just fell. Well, don't do that normally. Bad fill. Alright, here we go. The thing with the 4P I find is uh, getting some of the upgrades too for it. Help you be able to manage the heat a little bit better, be able to fire a little bit quicker, turn a little bit faster, just in general. Whoa. Really? That's not how you treat people. 
be careful here. I don't really have support per se. Looks like we have a lot of mechs. Enemy mechs over here. Yeah, the spider's just being annoying. It's alright. I can just sit up here and snipe. No one's paying me attention. Wait. They must be using the ER large lasers. That's what it is. And hitting building over here. It's not always a good thing. There we go. Delta 1X. This looks like a stock 1X. I can take them myself. Or I can get assistance. people hitting me, so let's see how well. This guy's not watching his rear. Which is my benefit. Probably a new player. A little unfortunate, but hey. Play with the big boys. Don't cry when you get hurt. Spider, I'll ignore him just for the second. I'm gonna move in. As you can see, you can get in close. It's okay. You don't have to worry. Your the lasers obviously are effective. Point blank all the way up till about double their uh, distances. You know, diminishing returns on the damage, of course. But I'm about to make that spider stay hell. In a minute. All right. Nope, oh, he's down. Huh. And we've got the two of them up here on top. So go ahead and poke your head out. Obviously using the rooftop to his advantage. And I really don't think we have anything that can get up there. Maybe. We'll see. So, let's see, what do we got? We have two Jenners. Just being a total pesk up here. He'll die soon. Scorpio. Alright. Alright, now he's pushing off. And again, you wanna you wanna remain in that 450 or closer sweet spot so you're doing max damage. But that being said, you can you can do the damage out further. It's just not as great as if you were in that uh, sort of sweet spot, so just keep that in mind. This guy's gonna make us chase him. How rude. Probably uh, cut up here to the left. I think maybe he's the only one left. So yeah, looks like it is. So heat management. One thing you can do is mid battle, you can always just hit backslash. Um, basically chain fire the large lasers and or the mediums if you need to. Gosh, these things are so nimble. And it looks like he's about to die. Probably rocking an XL engine. Just touch those side torsos. Come on, guys. And there we go. So there you have it, guys. That's the Hunchback HBK 4P, the Bug Zapper. I really enjoy it. It's an effective mech. And of course, you know, you got to use the lot, sort of know when you can push the boundaries of that, you know, shutdown area. Anyways, I hope you guys find as much success as I have with this. Until next time, Mech Warriors. Studios around the world.